Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my experience with the Sony NEX3N. Now this camera is the latest addition to the NEX family, it's also the least expensive uh, entry point to the NEX system. You're looking at a $500 kit here, uh, and I've spent a little bit of time with it, so uh, really this video clearly is not a full review, but for those of you who need some immediate gratification, want to know, is this camera worth the price? I can tell you guys out of the gate, it is. Uh, uh, and I say that because in terms of it being a replacement to the F3, it is a replacement and an upgrade in just about every way. Uh, I do favor this kit lens to the older uh, 18 to 55. Uh, the 16 to 50 power zoom really a completely different experience. Better for video in my opinion. Uh, I do like that it's got the wider end to it. Something that for the casual shooter that isn't looking to break the bank and really that's who this price point is designed for. They're going to be really happy with the fact that they've got a wide angle and zoom capability, especially, you know, all of these new NEX models do incorporate the clear image zoom, which is going to essentially just crop the image for you in the camera. So you don't have to do that in uh, post-processing with whatever software you choose to use. So really your zoom can be extended even beyond the 50 millimeters here. So I think for a lot of the people that are going to buy this, they're not going to need another lens. And that's a great thing. Uh, you can manually control the zoom here. Uh, this is the same lens that was packaged with the NEX6 uh, back when it launched. And it's very popular because in terms of form factor and optical range, there's nothing else like it for the E-mount system. Now, that's not to say it doesn't have its shortcomings, but today's video is about the 3N. There are many people out there that will argue the uh, original 18-55 to 55 is sharper, and it is, but it also doesn't afford you this form factor uh, or the power zoom capability for video, which I think for the average uh, user that's looking for a budget-friendly uh, NEX, this is really a match made in heaven. So. New things that I do like about this camera that I can tell you guys immediately. Uh, the on-off switch, not found on any other NEX models. I do appreciate that. And of course, this is the first body to incorporate uh, zoom control for any of the power zoom lenses, whether you're using this or the brand new uh, 18 to 200 lens, which is $1,200, you've got control with the body now, not just the actual lever uh, that's on board. You cannot set different zoom speeds on this lens like you can with the 18 to 200 uh, zoom lens, but uh, power zoom lens, but that's because one is designed for video specifically. This one is really designed to be obviously the kit lens of the future and current, I should say, for uh, the NEX system. Uh, not VG. So clearly different camera class, different target audience, uh, but performance solid nonetheless. So good thing to have that added. Your shutter button performs as it always has. This camera is slower than the F3, so even though I do feel it's an upgrade in a lot of different ways from that, it got slower, and I'm not pleased about that. That's one thing I can tell you guys right out of the gate, that even though I do feel this camera is worth the money, I'm not happy with the fact that it got slower, because as someone who is a big, big fan of the NEX system, it's tough for me to see that same exact 16.1 APS-C sensor that's under the hood here, as well as the 5N, 5R, NEX6, get bottlenecked by the fact that it's intentionally slowed down in the system, but you are getting what you pay for. Don't misunderstand me in any way. Uh, the fact that this is a $500 kit, and in order to accomplish this same kit, which doesn't even exist right now for the 5R, but if it did, it would definitely be at least 650 if not more. So keep that in mind. There, The value here uh, the devil is in the details, but uh, there's more to like than dislike. That's really uh, the message. So uh, I do still love the fact that we've got that 180 degree uh, tilting LCD screen. It allows for self-portraits as well as just general flexibility and creativity that you otherwise are not afforded on any other NEX camera other than the 5R. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any other ability to articulate, but overall, the build and feel of this camera, because it's so compact and everything has its place, is really solid, and that's one of the things I like about it a lot. Uh, it is good, at least in the brief amount of time I've spent with it. I do like this arrangement of having everything on one side. Certainly not a bad thing. Um, it's just a redesign, frankly. The flash power on the camera here, 
and you'll see to power on it's not slow it certainly uh, powers up relatively quickly uh, the flash performance has been solid and it borrows its design from the NEX uh, 7 and the 6 that followed it and it works fine you know you're able to bounce it uh, and use it so that you can uh, basically get the exposure you want out of the flash rather than blowing things out and that's a good thing um, again you can control the zoom from either of these spots which is groundbreaking for the NEX system at least in terms of where things are probably going to go I would imagine that all uh, NEX models forward are going to have the zoom integrated on body so it's interesting that the least expensive model in the family is the revolutionary one in that sense uh, but other things to point out uh, again, this is not the full review, but just that I want you guys to know, uh, screen quality uh, is good. People have been worried about the resolution of the screen. I really haven't had any problems with it. Uh, as I mentioned before, this thing is pretty solid. Uh, the door here, as you may have noticed, even though I like the fact that everything's on the side, would have liked to have seen something that caught a little bit better and was able to maintain the seal here. Uh, I'm not saying that you're going to constantly, as you guys just saw, flap it open uh, accidentally because after all the screen is going to be blocking it the majority of the time. Uh, so that way it's not going to open accidentally. But I'm not sure that I'm in love with that. Otherwise, the handling is pretty much perfect on this camera. I have absolutely no complaints. Um, everything is where it should be. In fact, I'm going to argue that this is more comfortable to use uh, no matter what size hands you have, even though it is a smaller camera than the 5R uh, or 5N. But I do think it's uh, far, far more friendly uh, to use over a long period of time. And that, of course, also speaks to it being better to use over a long period of time than it's uh, predecessor the F3 and if I were to put it next to uh, the 5R or the 6 they are larger cameras but just give you guys a quick look um, body next to the each body so like there the 5N on the left you can clearly see is a larger body but I'm just talking about the actual grip the fact that we've got rubber rather than plastic metal combo uh, and the fact that there is just more space afforded for your hand to wrap around the actual camera itself, in my opinion, no matter what size hand you actually have. So I actually do prefer this design, um, but part of that is also because I haven't thrown a large piece of glass on here. I think that when you do have a larger piece of glass like any of the 18 to 200 millimeter zoom lenses, or anything frankly bigger than the pancake, or maybe the new 20 millimeter pancake, or the original 16 with an adapter, that's when you're going to need that extra grip that isn't here. So that's where this really is more of the point and shoot member of the NEX family. The good news is, is that even though it's slowed down, like I said before, the image quality and video quality are still all there. So no loss in that department. Better build, in my opinion, than the F3. Overall, you're getting a better package at the you know at a very very affordable price point when you compare it to the competition so if you're looking to get your feet wet with the NEX system no better way right now in my opinion than the uh, 3N of course I do have to spend more time with it before I can give you guys the full story and go through all the features and really tell you what you're going to either love or hate but I think this should fill in the gaps uh, that most of you are looking to uh, get filled here in order to figure out whether or not this is worth it to you right now since the camera is just making its way into basically all retail channels both online and at the brick and mortar level if you guys have any specific questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course as usual please feel free to subscribe later